Wow, beautiful, huh? <laughs> Life for me is always beautiful and wonderful. That's why I, always, I, I said, um, Life is an art. Architecture is an art. It is a process and a product of planning, designing, and other physical structure. Good physical structure satisfy three principles. Not only beauty, but also utility. And most importantly, durability. That's why I said life really is beautiful. Wow. If we think of life to grow, <laughs> of course, with planning, <laughs> designing, etc., we can really make life beautiful. And looking at it at this time, we are more than an art or architecture. We are created by God according to His image and likeness. It's really beautiful. And if we can correct always our life with God, making Him like the King of your life, the most precious, <laughs> the most precious person in your life, then really beautiful. That's why when we always glorify God, God someday will give us also the share of His glory, of His resurrection. That's why many times I said, God really is good, so good. God has given us salvation, has given us life, has given us resurrection, and eternal life. Really beautiful. God has always the power to do anything. What is necessary for us is to love Him with all our mind, with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our being. <laughs> because in return, God will always glorify us. That's why it is the life of Paul, huh? very beautiful. He's always one with Jesus Christ. That's why he said, I live no longer for myself, but Jesus lives in me. Yeah. And when I die, I will receive the crown. Because I finished the race. <laughs> I completed the work. And now I will share His glory. But when I am still alive, I will still praise the Lord and work for Jesus. And that is my life. Wow. So Paul was really, really, uh, really to die for Jesus. So that is the meaning of life. Very happy life. Always willing to be one with Jesus in any way possible. To make life beautiful. Huh? At the same time, inspiring people around. To make them also happy. To share the happiness of life. Actually, that is our purpose of life, the meaning of life, is always to share the topic. That's why when we go back to our uh, catechism, why God created us? Very simple. <laughs> Very simple. God created us to know God, to love God, and to serve God. And let us take the and the other 50% is leading others 
to know, to love, and serve God. And once you do that, then you are complete. And now, the practice begins. <laughs> the living of the faith in God. And that is looking, helping the poor. It's always the poor. That's why I just we said, no salvation outside the poor. It's very true. Because it is the meaning of life. <laughs> the meaning. And that's why the, the, uh, the great commandment of Jesus is very simple. The great commandment, no? Love God and love your neighbor. Very simple. And that is helping the poor. The poor, the neglected, the oppressed, the depressed, the abandoned. You know. And so in our little way, we should think something possible. How can we help the poor? My dream is always to help the children. My dream is always to help the poor. Livelihood. In the Philippines, I have almost complete thing to begin with the livelihood program. But the only thing that happened is that um, <laughs> nobody would like to share the responsibility. But I have practically complete the books, uh, and tools, uh, and many other things. Many other things. But what I'm only asking for help is uh, the place. Uh, the place for practicum and um, for theory. Theory and practice. Yeah. But theory is fine. I'm here now. I'm also thinking the same. I hope it will become true. I hope we can help each other to help the poor here. There yeah, are so many poor here. There yeah, are so many. Maybe not really materially poor, but spiritually, many are bankrupt. They are really poor. That's why uh, we see, we observe how many, how many suicides, how many uh, people die. <laughs> yeah, because we really are in poverty of love, poverty of love. We don't have enough love to share. And many times, our house is a prison house. <laughs> we we uh, take like prisoners, the children. <laughs> yeah, the children, our family, they're like a prisoner <laughs> in the house. So we should keep that life beautiful, uh, beautiful. That's why education is very important, education is very important. We have to educate our child, especially when it comes to knowing Jesus, most important, knowing Jesus, very important. Because he is the only person that can give us life, give us salvation, give us resurrection, give us... And according to people, that these three could solve the global problem. Global problem. Because really this is very medicinal. The roots, the bark, the, the wood, the, the leaves, the fruits, everything is really medicinal. And even if you have allergy, just take the, <laughs> take the leaves, the leaves of the, uh, this one, this uh, neem tree, and then just, uh, you then you, you throw it and then put into the allergy area, allergy part, and you have no problem. It's really very good. Yeah, it's very good. It's in the life, the only person. And his only request is, we have to help the poor. Help the poor. The neglected, the widow, the oppressed, the depressed, etc. That's why when we reflect on this day, uh, All Souls Day, the reading, the gospel, telling us about the last judgment. The last judgment. How we serve the poor, how we help the poor. And that will be the, uh, the question asked. Very simple. Very simple. When I was hungry, did you give me food? When I'm thirsty, did you give me something to drink? When I'm naked, did you give me something to put on my body? 
Ah, uh, very simple, very simple. Very simple. Well, that is at the end. Jesus will say, okay, you people who help the poor, come, enjoy, inherit the kingdom of God prepared for you since the beginning of time. Because I am hungry, you feed me, I am thirsty, you give me a drink, and it's not a lot. So, if you want happiness, if you want eternal life with Jesus, very simple. Follow him. That's why he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody, <laughs> nobody can come to the Father except through me. So he is always the way. And so by now, we have to think something that, uh, how can we help the poor? How can we help the poor? Not necessarily with money. We just maybe by smile, <laughs> by visitation, by uh, telling stories to make them happy when they are lonely. Something to drink, cold water. <laughs> yeah, there are many ways we can make people happy without spending anything. Tangkong, but this is a Chinese, I think this is Chinese a spinach, I think this one. This is Kang Kong, Lan Kang Kong, and I think this is Chinese spinach. This one is also very good for clean air in your room. This is spider plant, spider. This one is another neem tree. Yeah. And there I have... I planted on two years. Some aloe vera, new one. And this one is... Uh, this one... Sampagita. One, one, two, three, Sampagita. That one is Kabote again. This one. And this one is Jerusalem potato. Jerusalem potato. Okay, yeah, we have plenty here. There we get the, uh, the bean. Uh, carrot. And this one is uh, peanut. This one is um, Jerusalem potato. Yeah. See? And this one, is, I think, is uh, basilicos. It's basilicos. Another ginger. And this one, this is uh, turmeric. Or dilao. We call it dilao or turmeric, this one. And this one is a good pack. Papaya. Then another, another one. This one is kangkong, Chinese spinach, and that one is basilicos. Yeah, we have here, plenty. Uh, uh, beans, yeah. Mm -hmm. This one is... Uh, oh, I forgot the name of this one. This one is oregano? Oregano, yeah, <laughs> oregano, yeah. Well, this one is uh, peanut also. String, we call it string beans. Yeah. This one is uh, papaya. Andila, come on. And this one is uh, orange. I think orange, I think. Yeah, I think, yeah. And my avocado also. This one is also moringa. I just planted it. Yeah. This is moringa, aloe vera. Yeah. Wow. And of course, this is my kamuti. Kamuti. Wow, really good, huh? <laughs> kamuti, yeah, come on. The plenty. So you just come and get the eye. You have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> and I have also here, this is the uh, artist. Artist. Come on, artist. This is artist. Artist. Uh, this one, another moringa. So, uh, yeah. This one is uh, avocado. This one is aloe vera. Wow! And we have this gabi. This is from Africa. Gabi. Gabi. Yeah, San Fernando. San Fernando. Ah, okay. Masarap yang gulai. Yeah, oh, oh. Yeah, yung ano, tawag na... Naging, ah, tinataang gabi. 
Oh, it's a beacon? I thought that's oh, another one. one. It's a... Man, uh, this uh, Kanko. And this one? Wow! Another one. This is already growing. This is uh, Moringa. Yeah. I have some um, avocado here. And this one is also Moringa. And of course, I have my, uh, if you like, to really, really for harvesting. This one. My uh, sugar cane. Yeah. And this one is Lichias. This one, Lichias. I planted this one last uh, Yom Kippur. <laughs> Lichias, this one. Yeah. Okay. What is this, Ari? Time. Time is very important. Yeah. So we have to reflect again and think. How can we help the poor? How can we help the poor to make them happy, that we are happy? We have to avoid some social, but we have to take some social responsibility to the poor. Wow, this would be like beautiful life.